Good morning, campers. It's an early morning this morning. Daddy got us up early. Daddy got me up first. He got me up first. But anyways, we had to get up early because we are taking a long trip today. Mm -hmm. We are headed to Florida. Where are we going first? Oh, walkabout. Walkabout. Camp, Camp and RV here. park in and Woodbine, Georgia. Yeah. But we had to get up early because that is a long trip. And we are there he for a short stay. No. We are there for a short stay <laughs> because, as Aubriella said, we are in fact headed to Florida for a mm -hmm. fun vacation to see our family, right? Mm -hmm. We are super excited about it. We can't wait to share I'm this adventure so with you. I'm so excited to see my family. Yeah. We can't wait to share our adventure with you. We've got our lunches packed, ready for the mm -hmm. road. Everybody's dressed, and we're just mm -hmm. about to hit the road. So, we will uh -huh. say bye for now, but we will talk to you along the way, and we'll definitely show you the place when we get there. Bye, campers. Bye. I'm Chrissy. I'm Jason. I'm Ariella. And this is Cecilia. And we are... I, I Want to camp, camp With, with You. you. It's a beautiful night, we're looking for something fun to do. Hey campers, I want to camp with you. Hey campers, we just got off of exit 7 on 95 South for Walkabout RV, what is it called? Park. RV Park in Campground. <laughs> um, anyways, we are super excited. We're almost there. We did stop to fill up so we don't have to do it in the morning when we head back out to go to Florida. Um, and did want to let you know there is a brand new Circle K right off the exit. Um, it's in the opposite direction of the campground, but it's like a quarter mile up on the left, not even. So it's super close, easy place to fill bored. up, lots of room. Aubrey's super bored. Can you Let see her back there? Tablet. Yeah, luckily we allowed her to have her tablet. Um, but anyways, just I wanted have. to let you know that it is here, an easy fill up, good stop. We will let you know more about the campground when we get there. Thanks. Bye. There's a fellow camper over there. You see him? Yep. See you in a bit. Hey, campers. Good morning, campers. We woke up and got ready here at Walkabout Campground in Woodbine, Georgia. We are just staying here for the night, as we mentioned uh, previously in the video. Actually, it'll be after this. Sorry, because I'm going to put this at the beginning, so you don't necessarily have to watch the walk around if you don't want to. But anyways, just wanted to let you know a few things. The Wi-Fi is not good, so don't depend on that. We usually only use it when we go to sleep um, to stream Netflix, and that didn't work, and it was also kicking our phones off. It and did stuff. work this morning a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Um, they do not have fire pits, uh, but it is a nice, quiet, clean, safe you can, place like, to stay. Make your own fire we pit. can uh, use it for an overnight stay or a couple nights, you know, here in between North Carolina and Florida to visit family. So we don't n not recommend it. It's it's definitely not a bad place to be. Uh, we personally, the way we camp, we would not stay here, you know, for a week or two on end. But there are several people here who are, and they absolutely loved it. We talked to quite a few people yesterday that loved it. Um, but yeah, so we would recommend, I guess, stopping here if you wanted to and checking it out. Uh, Aubrey got to check out the playground yesterday. Uh huh. Was for a fun? very long time, and Cece got to swing on the tire swing for a little. Uh huh. Today we're going to Florida go right. see our. Um, family. And the live animals were pretty cool. Um, that was kind of a neat little thing that you don't usually get at other places that Mommy, we liked. Yeah. At, at the playground, I think at nighttime a deer tracked through because I saw a little deer print in the sand underneath one of those ropes. She did. She saw deer tracks in the sand. So we're thinking there were more animals here than just the goats uh, and the chickens that we saw yesterday, right? Yeah, See? but it could be an animal in the woods because it was be. free. Could be. So, anyways, you are going to get a chance to see all the sites. Um, like I said, oh. they were all pretty level. We were able to pull in 
and not unhook the camper, which was a plus for us since we were just stopping for an overnight stay. Uh, we did not get a chance to check out the pool, but we do plan on stopping here on the way back, so we'll probably get a chance to check that out. Um, and like I said, it looked really clean and nice and pretty, so that'll be a nice There's plus. a basketball place there right basketball next court. to the playground. You're going to see that two in the video basketballs. Too. Uh -huh. All right, campers, bye, bye for now. We'll see you later. <laughs>
So there's the pool. It's a really nice pool. A little small, but I mean, it's not really too bad. Looks like they have some tables up there under the covered area. Um, some nice Adirondack chairs sitting out. Everything looks really clean. Uh, there were a few people in here when we got here. Now there's just one. But yeah, looks nice. So as we continue on past the pool, this would be where the clubhouse is. So I guess they would do, um, you know, events or whatever they have is in there. Um, and then that's where the camp office is. Jason went in, we did not. He said it was very clean. They were very friendly, very nice. Um, they were super nice when we were making the reservations, very accommodating. Um, so no problems there. All the grounds look really well kept. Um, they have nice flowers. Everything's been, you know, leaf blown or whatever and trimmed and um, grass is mowed. They have propane right there where you can get your propane filled. They also have a playground and a basketball court which are coming up on the right hand side. Um, I'm going to show you over here real quick though. These are the K sites. So that's the same row we're in. So that's going to be K19, which is up the very beginning, all the way down. At the end here is K1. There's Aubrey. So here, we're going to, I know there is a Plego. Look, let's go look at this real quick right here. What do you think is in here? Chickens. Chickens? Those don't look like chickens to me. What are those? Goats. I see so they have a nice little animal. Don't step right down. Air, I hate air. Sand You'll be all right. It's just sand. Um, little animal area here. Hey, goats. How are you doing? Aren't they just so cute? Hey, goody goody. And then looks like there's a chicken coop over there. It Mommy, says chickens, the pet that poops breakfast. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Hey, guys. Say hey to the campers. Can I yeah. Say hey to the campers. You're a cute little dude. He thinks you got food for him. Come here, guys. Whoa, don't you dare fight. <laughs> here they come. They want food. Yeah. Whoa. And there is the basketball court and the little playground. Um, it's not super huge, but I mean, it's got a tire swing and a couple of rope climbing things, a couple of swings, a bar swing, monkey bars. So it'll suffice for sure. And of course, we're going to go back to the goats. Cece, go look at the goats. You found ducks. Oh, you. No, they don't quack quack. That's ducks. Goats don't say quack quack. You see them? <laughs> no, they don't say quack, quack, quack. <laughs> Go get them, Cece. Go say hey. Say hey. Yeah. Well, you got your hand that you won't let go of. Yeah. Oh, it's a well, obviously, Cecilia was not a fan of the goat being she in her face. <laughs> she was a fan until Daddy made her get too close, he says. Um, so, here, here is a, uh, ow, sorry, tennis court and basketball court all in one. So, you have that option. And they actually have a basketball here, too. Um, and over here, like oh, I said, yeah. here's the playground. Where's the sea? It's gonna get all sandy, apparently. All right, so I'm leaving Jason with the kids. I don't know if this is a good idea, but I'm gonna finish my walk around. <laughs> so we're coming down here, um, and this last site right here, these are all empty, but this last one is K1. Um, they all look fairly level, not, not too much. Uh, leveling blocks and stuff. I really don't see many people using much of it. Okay, so I'm going to show you my backwards map again. Well, if the wind will cooperate. Okay, so there's the backwards map. 
So this, that I'm going to show you in this row on the right hand side, will be K20 through K38. So this will be K20 right here. They look like they're here to stay, so I don't think you'll be running that spot. <clears throat> but as you come up through here, not many of these sites have shade, I will tell you that. There are a few trees, um, if you look back over here, there's some trees there, so you would probably get a little bit of shade there. Uh, but these middle ones here that I'm showing you now, the K20 through the K38, not much shade to be had there. If that is a requirement, I do not recommend those sites. Um, I also don't know if they let you reserve an exact site, because we reserved a 30 amp spot but they did not give us a number till we got here. So we will have to see about that. Like I said, we were just using it as an overnight stay, so it wasn't a huge deal to us. Oh look, this says these people are camp hosts. So they must be important. They got a nice camper, nice site. I'm gonna keep on walking down here. Again, I'm trying not to make the videos too long and drawn out, but then my husband tells me I kind of need to stop longer on the sites. Then he tells me not to make the video too long. You know, <laughs> I just don't know what to do. But anyways, we are going to continue down this way. <clears throat> quiet park. Um, nobody really seems to be out going crazy as of yet anyways. I think maybe a lot of people do use it as you know a stopover um, because it is like a little bit more than halfway from central North Carolina to Florida uh, or at least northern Florida I should say. But then again it looks like there's quite a few families staying for a bit so I don't know. Hey, how are you? But looks pretty nice. Okay, so as you get up here, this is where we're staying. This one is K17. <clears throat> um, this first one, which was K18, sorry, second one, K18, and then K19 is after that. They have quite a bit of shade because they have that first line of trees right there. I'm trying not to let the sun mess this up. Um, and then you also have these on this side, which have quite a bit of shade as well. So these would be the end spots. So this last one over here is K38. They actually just got here, but <clears throat> this, um, this side up here has, you know, a decent amount of shade as you can see. And then as you go down there, it starts to get sunnier and sunnier. So we're gonna go around this other side here. And we're gonna walk back down this loop I am going to pause it because there's only three sites up here and then it picks back up at the end um, near the bathhouse. So I'm going to pause it in between so you don't have to watch me just walk. But right here is K44, which looks nobody's in. <clears throat> it's right there. It's got the little cement pad there. But that would actually be a nice site. I like that. It looks like it's got a little walking path um, behind it. But yeah, so that's K44 right there. Backs in right up under these trees, all nestled in. You got your own little patio there. I actually would book that if we came back, which we will be stopping back. So we'll see if we can actually request a site or not. Um, and there is K43. And that one would be K42. Um, and then, like I said, we're going to go down to the bathhouse and I'll pick you back up there so you're not watching me walk. Okay, so here we are, just a little ways down. Um, and here is the bathhouse. And it's super nice. Looks brand new. Um, and then they have a little communal fire pit here with some benches. Which looks really nice as well. The benches look really brand new. Um, I'm not necessarily going to go into the bathhouses quite yet, but I will show you. Hey, how are you? There is a laundry facility with looks like brand new washers and dryers, so that's nice. 
and then a woman's room and a mess men's room and they call it she lives in blokes um, because they are an Australian place so we will keep walking back here and I'll pick you back up in the case when we get back around to the other side um, but since we're back on this side we're gonna go to the C section see I keep saying that and then J I told Jason the other day that I needed to say section C for obvious reasons because it sounds funny so <laughs> we're going to section C and I'm going to show you the map one more time. This time it's not upside down though. It's just blurry. <laughs> okay, there it is. So it's going to be C1 through C9 on the right and C10 through C21 on the left. I'll pick you back up when I get over there. Okay, so that little path from that site K44 that I thought was cute comes out right there, which is at the back side of this section C. Sorry, I don't know why that keeps getting blurry. Um, and right behind the bathhouse. So you have like a little bit of a shortcut to the bathhouse and that fire pit and all that stuff. So I'm gonna walk up the middle to try and save time so we can kind of look at both sides here. But like I said, they are Australian. And so all their stuff is based on that, um, that theme topic, however you wanna say it, which we do hope one day to be able to go to actual Australia that would be down the road I'm sure <laughs> so that's C10 and that's gonna be all the way up through C21 and then over on this side it's C1 all the way up to C9 so just gonna walk up here give you kind of a glance at both sides um, these are all 30 and 50 amp full hookups so there's that um, this side kind of looks like it has a bit of shade in front of it kind of allowing for that but it is up against that main road that we came in on um, didn't seem like a super busy road but I don't know if you can hear it in the video or not you can hear a bit of highway noise because it is kind of close to the highway but again if you're making this a pit stop that's a plus you don't have to travel so far down the road just to get to your campsite if you're only staying for a night or two um, in between legs of your longer trip so, here we go, that's C18, just to give you a little glance at how big these sites are in this section. They're all about the same size, so we have all that, and then we're going to come back over to this side because there's people sitting at the table over there, I don't want to be rude and film them, so we're going to go back over here. That's C8. Hey, how are you? And that's C9, um, so you can kind of see the room. Um, some of these look like they may be here for a longer stay. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna walk around this back side loop here and I'm gonna head back over towards the bathhouse so I can do that last K section. And then we'll head over to the P section. But I'm going to stop here so you don't have to watch me just walk around. Okay, so we are back here at the bathhouse and the communal fire pit. We're going to walk around the front of it and I'm going to show you sites K41 through K39. It's going to go down um, the numbers backwards. And then we'll head over to the P section, which is on the other side, and those are all 50 amp back and full hookups. So, we're going to head down this way. And these sites um, look like they too have a bit of shade with these trees above them. Um, again, there's not many super shaded sites, but they provide a little bit. And I think we all understand that every little bit of shade counts when you're dealing with a RV AC unit. <laughs> Especially if you only have one. Um, okay, so this is going to be K41 right here. It's empty. Um, but that would be ne right next to the bathhouse. That would probably be a good thing. And there's like a little open space here. So you'd have a bit of an extra area in front of you. Um, and then you got K40. Which there's somebody at right now. And K39. And from what I remember, obviously, you can see back here. They do allow people to store their campers here. Um... Obviously, you probably have to pay, but 
Um, they do have storage for campers back here. If you're you know, planning on stopping here, leaving your camper, going somewhere else, coming back and getting it, that would be a good option for you. So now we're gonna head over here, across this bridge, and that's gonna take you to, trying to zoom in on it here, or make it focus, whatever. Um, that section right there, which is, which is P1 through P7. So again, we're gonna head over, right over this bridge. Um, I'm not gonna make you watch me walk, so I'll pick you up when I get back over there or when I start to see something that you might be interested in. Okay, so this seems like a nice little quiet private section back here. Um, and again, this is gonna be section P, and it's P1 through P7. So they're on the, on the right. They are 50 amp back ends with full hookups. Um, coming up first would be P1 and then it's gonna go all the way down to P7. I'm gonna glance, oh look, there's a little bunny. Can you see him? Oh, he's hopping away. He don't like me. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I love this Spanish moss stuff. I don't know if you like it or not. I know a lot of people think it's a nuisance. I just think it's absolutely beautiful. There's the bunny. Hey, Mr. Bunny. Okay, so, again. That's P1. These look like they may be a little bit more permanent, but maybe not. Um, there's P1. They do have more room, I can see that. They have a bit more room on both sides. Um, now we are Passport America members, so if you are a Passport America member, this is a place that you can stay and you do get the discount at which was awesome. So we got our site for, I think it was $22 and some change. Um, and that was after taxes and everything. So for one night, that's really not bad at all. Um, and even if it wasn't just a overnight leg stay kind of thing, it still would have been, you know, a good rate, obviously. They have a nice pool, like I said, and a nice area. Now it's not like a super entertaining campground by any means, but, it's a nice, looks like safe, quiet place that you could have a good time at. That's a nice little campsite. They got their outdoor set up. That's really nice. It's P7 right there. Um, and then it looks like they have trails. They have biking, walking, or jogging trails. Two of them. So maybe we'll get a chance to walk those. Maybe not this time, but maybe on our leg back from Florida. So I'm gonna walk back towards the other side and I will pick you back up over there. So real quick, I just wanted to get back to you on a few of their things that they have listed on their um, park guidelines. They do have quiet hours from 10 to seven. Um, only one unit and one vehicle are allowed per space. Um, but it says you can see the office for, if you need uh, you know, additional space for an extra vehicle. Um, you can pay $5 for a guest and there is guest parking over there by the pool. Um, the laundry facilities are open 24-7. Uh, let's see. They just ask that you keep everything clean and free of litter. Obviously, I would hope that would be what you try to do at every place. But you never know. <laughs> Checkout time is at 11 and check-in time is at 1. There uh, is an additional charge for vehicles that are left on site after 11 a.m. So pretty I mean pretty easy simple rules they don't really have anything out of the ordinary the pool rules are are listed by the pool which I'm sure are, again are just the standard rules they don't seem to be out of the ordinary here um, but again it's a nice little quiet place to stay um, everybody seems to be fairly friendly we haven't really gotten a chance to know our neighbors yet we got here and after that ride, our camper was pretty hot from being in the sun all day. So we tried to get in there as quickly as possible to get our air conditioner on and cool off before we took this little walk around to show you guys. But again, we're at Walk Around RV Park, Camp and RV Park, sorry, in Woodbine, Georgia. And if you get the chance to stay here, I'd recommend it, especially if you're a Passport America member, you really can't beat the uh, $22 a night price. And again, they're extremely friendly and have not had a problem. Uh, we did hook up to the Wi-Fi. I didn't want to tell you that too, I forgot. 
um, and it seems to be working fairly well. We do not do anything with the Wi-Fi until we all go to bed, and that's when we try to stream our TV shows. So I guess I'll have to get back to you on how well that worked. But for now, we are going to enjoy our stay, and I will be sure to do a little recap tomorrow before we leave to let you know if there were any issues or if it truly is just a little great place to stay. Say bye for now. Okay, sorry, I ran into some visitors that are staying here, um, an older couple, and they wanted to chat with me. They were very nice. Um, they're actually from 20 miles down the road, and they did inform me that, um, well, I guess all the chickens are out roaming around. Um, they informed me that this place is actually under new ownership right now, and they are constantly working on the place. Um, they're trying to make it bigger and better every day which is why they added that last section over there and he said they were actually looking at hey Aubrey um, even making it bigger um, they're starting to clear out things and trying to make it bigger so that is good to know it's always good to have an owner who actually cares about their property and wants to upgrade it and make it better but anyway so now I will actually say goodbye for now and I will get back to you with our final review tomorrow Cece you're screaming at the goats. <laughs> we'll see you later, campers. Hey campers, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you.